Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And for today, we are closing up our Dirty Soul Soap Company Deep Dive. I do like to fully explore a lot of samples, uh, you know, if there are a lot available, <laughs> depending on the price point. Um, I like to explore the samples and let you guys know what are my own personal favorites. Um, even if the fragrances did not drive with me, I will go ahead and review them anyways, you know, as we go along. And that is exactly what I did. Out of 24 samples though, for Dirty Soul Soap Company, we ended up with 18 winners. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> um, the price point for this company is really, really good. They are an indie perfume brand based out of Arizona. They carry phthalate-free, paraben-free, and made-to-order fragrances. They have perfume mist, extra dipper foam, so they have a really high concentration of perfume oils, and they're really affordable. You have $8 for your perfume mist. You have your... Um, what is it $14 for the four ounce all of these here are 2.5 ounces and um, then they have some scrubs and some lotion so they have a, a, a good mix of products on their on their website now the majority of their catalog consists of discontinued Bath and Body Works scents and that is exactly how we got started with Dirty Soul Soap Company uh, we stumbled onto Dirty Soul Soap myself and my good friend because we were in search of champagne sparkles <laughs> that is how this whole journey started with this particular brand and um, you know we stumbled in there and then Dirty Soul Soap Company stumbled in this closet <laughs> for whatever reason they got notified uh, somebody was speaking about their products um, you know and, and it got suggested on their suggested suggested videos uh, it's been so much fun having dirty soul interact with us while um, you know we're featuring these products I so you're welcome anytime <laughs> all the time and um, you know you're doing an amazing job over there because we explored the pat this little series consisted of little batches of samples that I thought kind of mix and match together they went well together kind of scent categories I ended up with a good six bunches we did them per video I ended up with a lot of favorites okay about 24 samples we ended up with a top 18 so for today I'm gonna walk you through those top 18 give you a little explanation as to why <laughs> you know I feel like that this would be a nice place to start with dirty soul soap company because you you can get overwhelmed with the sheer amount of fragrances that are on their website a lot of the fragrances are like for example your whipped cream and your sugar milk you know which one which one should I choose? Um, they have quite a bit of, of different scent categories and oh, they have niche and designer fragrances as well. Um, yeah, their original fragrances, their gourmand fragrances, all of that goodness. So let's go ahead and go in order of, of the videos, how I presented the videos and I'll give you guys my tops. There's a total of 18. <laughs> so let's get it started with Champagne Sparkles. That is what drew me to Dirty Soul Soap Company. Their fragrance bottles are so cute. This right here is their Extra Dipper Foam Strength. It is the strongest that they carry and it is magnificent. <laughs> champagne Sparkles here has in it sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. They do have the notes in the back. They have the ingredients. And then of course, you know, keep away from flame. And then their, their uh, company name on every single little bottle with the cutest, cutest presentable labels. These are adorable <laughs> um i truly fell in love with every single little concept of this brand oh yes oh i cannot begin to explain the love that is Char champagne sparkles this is inspired by the discontinued bath and body works champagne sprinkles that i never got to get my nose on but my friend was just like i miss that scent so much i used to have you know i just ran out of their body wash and i used to have the lotion and the and the spray and they were so excited and i said okay we need to find it so just recently um shimmer Lux here on the channel was able to confirm to me that this is very similar to what champagne sprinkles used to be. So, yay. <laughs> and uh, for me not to have ever experienced champagne sprinkles, this particular scent here is 
just raspberry perfection. It is gourmand, it is uplifting, candy sweet, all of that. <laughs> um, so yeah, feel free to go ahead and check out the reviews of, you know, for, for the different scents here because I'm not going to go way super deep. <laughs> all right, so next on your, if you're just starting out here and, you know, your preference is kind of aligned with mine, Sweets on Paris. Oh, this one is from Bath & Body Works, Discontinued Sweet on Paris and it has fresh berries, warm vanilla and fresh lemon zest and this is just a gourmand fragrance. It is uplifting but warm at the same time. It is it is just gourmand start to finish and I had the best best fragrance combos with Sweet on Paris at the best time. Uh, I said, yeah, we need this one in extra. So before my no buy started, because I did go on a no buy July, um, I went ahead and got a hold of, of the Sweet on Paris. Gourmand all the way, start to finish. This is a beautiful rendition. And if I've never got to get my nose on the original Sweet on Paris. Um, so if you guys have, and you've been able to compare, let me know how close it is because I mean, do I need to go on the hunt? <laughs> I don't know because um, for the most part, these are so much stronger than your Bath & Body Works fragrances, you guys. Like they last, they have more presence. Uh, that Sweet on Par Paris had some projection the champagne sparkles also has some projection um you know so they have the longevity the strength the enjoyability factor i mean it's all there um so i don't know i don't know if i would like to seek out the original <laughs> okay so next we have peach berry oh peach berry this one is a bright sparkling peach a bright sparkling peach berry i mean yes this one gave me so much energy. <laughs> it has sun-kissed cranberries, frosted peach blossom, and shimmering woods. Something about the way that it's put together is so nice. <laughs> uh, this one really surprised me. I didn't know I was gonna I was gonna fall in love with it that much, but um, any of your peach fragrances go so nice with this because it's not a 100% straight up peach. This one has some depth to it okay it's it's a whole little fragrance in its own here so i highly recommend the peach berry if you like your citrus fragrances uplifting zingy you know sparkly type fragrances like your um your it kind of reminds me a little bit of my one of my favorite peaches here look at that <laughs> it's more than halfway down here my pretty as a peach by bath and body works this one has the blushing peach it, it has nectarine apple blossom and sheer freesia but um i also kind of sense like a little woody tone in this one i think it's got like some undisclosed woods oh man so it reminded me a little bit of this peach right here the pretty as a peach but different it's a lot more zingy um and it's just beautiful <laughs> i said i wasn't going to give reviews but i mean i just have to let you know how they smell if you're not familiar and why they just rocked my world <laughs> okay all right next so highly recommend next we have pineapple whip i don't have it yet but it's on the wish list this is just such a fresh rendition of a Dole Whip dessert. It does say that it has pineapple and it has a fresh soft serve ice cream. Those are the only two notes that are listed on the bottle, um, you know, or on the fragrance. But to me, it gave me the freshness of the Bath & Body Works Cucumber Melon. If you're familiar with the way that that cucumber melon is not like a straight gourmand, it's more has um you know a clean aesthetic to it so did the pineapple whip that that's what it gave me you know just a, a clean sweet pineapple um i truly enjoyed that one and i got to completely to the fullest enjoy it with my saint bart's so saint bart's another recommended one here is inspired by um the way uh, not the way, but way, <laughs> St. Bart's, all right? So this one right here is a mist that smells scrumptious. It does have a bright, bright opening. And the St. Bart's by Dirty Soul Soap Company, I did not find the same bright opening that I found in this one. But the, the way that it dries down, this one dried down pretty much exact. So they were very compatible. 
um, you know, they have pretty much the same fragrance notes, but again, this one has an interesting, just wet feel to it, just a very brightness. So that brightness, I found the Pineapple Whip by Dirty Soul Soap Company to give me that. So I combined them and it was just so nice. <laughs> so yeah, St. Bart's is another one that this one lasts all day long, um, you know, and I only bought the perfume mist. I figured I don't I don't think I need the extract because this one lasted all day long and I feel I feel like it was strong enough. I really did. <laughs> so I did get the perfume um, concentration. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> all right, so next, within that same video, we discovered coconut cream pie. So coconut cream pie has uh, fragrance notes of toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. And this was such a gourmand. This one will be the body mist too, or you could wear it alone. I got the extract concentration. <laughs> I tried the perfume mist uh, in sample form, but you know, I purchased the extract. And I haven't worn it yet a full day, the extract concentration, uh, but I want to wear it as a topper offer to all those gorgeous coconut, musky, you know, va vanilla fragrances like your Morph Di Simano, your So Vanilla uh, Cotton Candy, your So Vanilla by uh, Private Mood is more so an orange tinge type fragrance, um, you know, but I feel like you can add fruits to this also your coconut cream pie um but yeah it goes it goes so good with escapade gourmand with your creme brulee um with your creme brulee by Teodoro Scalotinis I mean we yeah this one was very inspiring <laughs> so I highly recommend the coconut cream pie you guys oh my gosh so so much goodness uh, you know from this company um that one was beautiful um, I already went over the St. Bart's and next, I don't have it yet on the wish list, pistachio ice cream. I wanted, I wanted it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think we already have this with our House of Glories um, pistachio cake. But whereas that P House of Glory pistachio cake is cake, the pistachio ice cream from Dirty Soul Soap Company gives you just that. It gives you ice cream. It gives you gourmand deliciousness. Um, pistachio, you know, it's just yes. Um, I need it. <laughs> I need the, the pistachio ice cream. And in fact, I'm, you know, thinking about when I do place my next order for samples from Dirty Soul Soap Company, I want to order a couple of lotions and pistachio ice cream is in the running that I think I'm gonna order that one. Why? Because the only ice cream lotion that I do own is the vanilla bean by Goose Creek. And that's the only one. <laughs> so we need at least one more in the collection. At least one more. <laughs> okay, so next we have raspberry almond cake. Yes, raspberry almond cake was so complex. It has a lot of notes, okay? The, the note structure for raspberry almond cake is a little extensive. <laughs> I mean, it went from there to there. And it gives me a gorgeous raspberry. Dirty Soul Soap Company's raspberry is amazing. It is just mouth-watering, sweet, delicious. So their raspberry almond cake had a little bit of that cake, of course. It had beautiful presents, a couple of transitions, and in the base, it had a nice boozy fall touch. So I think that's gonna be a nice fall raspberry, um, you know? And then while on that topic of fall and raspberry, um, you know, I practically pleaded <laughs> during one of the reviews that Autumn Drive by Bath & Body Works never came back to us. Um, wild Raspberry, Warm Amber, and Vanilla Birch. And Dirty Soul Soap Company jumped on and said, it's on the way, we will get this going. So if you guys are a fan of Autumn Drive and this gorgeous, gorgeous fall raspberry, um, you know, I love to pair this with apples and uh, your La Danza de la Libelula. I love that combo with Autumn Drive. Um, anything apple related, champagne, boozy, you know, maybe even a boozy cherry that goes so well with this. It just does. So raspberry almond cake would go well with this too. <laughs> it just would. All right, next. Oh, that raspberry. It was good. Uh, next we have peach. Oh, the next three, the next three are no brainers. You guys, they are from this line 
and Dirty Soul Soap Company took them and said, hold my drink. <laughs> Okay, they took these and they mastered them. They smell so glorious. I was blown away. That video had four fragrances and they were all good to go. Um, this has in it, or I don't know what it has in it. <laughs> or It's back here. A Peach Prosecco Vanilla Cream and Macaron Cookie. But um, I wanted to talk about how it's just a beautiful creamy peach. It is stronger in its intensity and its presence, um, you know, on your skin. And the enjoyability is just amazing. Amplified, and that's that I only tried the perfume mist, so I can't even. Uh, I'm more than sure the extract is going to be even more, more enjoyable. Um, so I do have the peach prosecco macaroon that was just gorgeous. Then the pear creme brulee. They took the the baked creme pear creme brulee. I got that <laughs> twisted there. They took the baked aspect of that opening of the pear creme brulee and they made it fresh pear they made a fresh juicy ripe delicious pear and um i don't get that from the original one it's down there i don't get it okay um that's the only slight difference and then they line up they match up it's creamy it's marshmallow it's it's just you need it <laughs> oh they did such a good job and then it goes so good with with your pear gelato by by teodoro scalotini's tk yes um highly recommend the pear creme brulee if, if you're a fan and then last in that video was the whipped berry meringue oh my gosh i had always kind of pictured it being more berry than anything else more blueberry even and the one by dirty soul soap company has such a stronger emphasis on the sugared quality the sugared berries that is what it ended up giving me and yes a whipped feeling in the base and it was so enjoyable <laughs> so yeah that's another one that we definitely need um in the collection extract version beautiful um all right actually one more in this whole uh video was creme brulee now the creme brulee on the wish list because it smelled so I'm, I'm looking at it let me get it it smelled so similar to your sweet escape by um sugar me sweet it this one is inspired by escapade gourmand escapade gourmand to me is a an ooey gooey creme brulee okay the uh, creme brulee here from dirty soul soap doesn't go quite extensive into the creme brulee but you know it does resemble pretty well the um the escapade gourmand was the creme brulee <laughs> All right, so on that same topic, next video, we jumped into Gourmand. Gourmand, oh, I have it right here. I have their sugar scrub in the shower. It is beautiful. The Gourmand is inspired by Escapade Gourmand, but they put a slight twist on it. They added some powdery florals, and they are detectable. There is a difference. This one is not Gourmand through and through to my nose. It was, you know, a slightly different... Uh, feel to the fragrance than your Sweet Escape by Sugar Me Sweet or even the Creme Brulee here um, by Dirty Soul Soap Company. Do I love it? Does it have the DNA though? I mean, definitely. It has the it has the Escapade Gourmand DNA, but it also has a slight different, you know, feel to it. So for that reason, it's it's full bottle worthy. But this one's already here. <laughs> I started out with this. Um, part of my first order. Oh, yes. I mean, yes. Yeah. If you want like just a different tone, you know, texture to it. I don't get any powdery tones in the original Escapade Gourmand, but I do in this one. Oh, but it's so nice and sweet. <laughs> okay. So next we have Vanilla Lace. And so many people rant and rave about Vanilla Lace. It is a discontinued Victoria's Secret fragrance, uh, highly coveted. And I thought it was beautiful. I thought it smelled like it's a wonderful vanilla musk, um, you know, pretty versatile. And I thought it smelled like Outremer Vani, uh, you know, that, that wonderful affordable fragrance that does not last very long on the skin. It just goes away pretty quickly, you guys. Um, let me get it. I'm talking about this one right here. Outremer Vani is, yeah, I like to spray this, I mean, everywhere because it's so sweet, beautiful vanilla musk. Oh, it's just vanilla, sweet, sweet, sweet musk. 
I love it. I love it. At the way beginning, it smells like a blast of alcohol. Oh yeah, but then, then you get that sweet vanilla. So the one here by Dirty Soul Soap Company definitely gives me Vinny Atremer kind of smell. It doesn't go deep like some people say vanilla lace smelled so much like Tahota. Um, it doesn't quite go there. I think it goes more the Vani Altramer, but actually make it detectable and it stays with you the whole day. So yeah, I recommend the extract version though. I thought that the uh, perfume mist was a little bit light, but if you just want to check it out, they do have their samples that you can order and they are uh, three mLs for $2.50, I believe, $2.50, which is amazing. You know, you can get a round of samples and check them out for yourselves. Oh man. You know, like don't straight up take my word for it, but it's delicious. <laughs> All right, so vanilla lace. We have four more, you guys, on this list. Next, we have wrapped in vanilla. Ooh, and I went crazy for this one. You guys, this is one that they did such a good job. I mean, I keep saying that, but they just did. Um, this is soft vanilla velvet sugar and chantilly cream. I went... And got a backup of this it's not come back I, I keep saying I don't check anymore because I have way too much Bath and Body Works but I don't think it ever came back and it's such a such a wonderful smell oh this vanilla um you know it's goo ooey gooey vanilla and then this soft sweet chantilly cream um so wrapped in vanilla by dirty soul soap company turned out amazing I I'm a fan. I need the extra, okay? And that might be another one that I would love to have the lotion um, in. That would be another one because it's it's a nice versatile scent, gourmand scent. Okay, next we have white latte. Yes, it made the list because we need all the Bianco lattes. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to work on that video for you guys. I'm going to compare and contrast a few of my dupes, uh, you know, inspired by Bianco latte. The one here from Dirty Soul Soap Company is light and airy. It is a really refreshing Bianco latte. It's not deep. It's not heavy. The coumarin and the honey notes, if you did not tolerate that from the original fragrance then um, you you could tolerate this one because I didn't detect them to be very strong um, yeah so very nice I had a great Bianco latte day when I wore it <laughs> I said oh, who am I kidding you know I need to bring this one in for science we need to explore the different Bianco lattes <laughs> uh, it's a favorite it's a favorite of mine so yeah Next, we have sugar milk, and sugar milk surprised me. Uh, it ended up smelling like whipped cream to me. Sugar milk, I thought, oh, I don't know, you know, do we need that? I feel like it's only gonna be like a piece of Bianco Latte, you know, the sugar milk maybe, and it ended up just being so nice. Just really sweet milk and um, whipped cream, like a whipped feeling. Uh, yeah, I, want, I, I definitely want a, a body mist of that. <laughs> Next and fi final one on the top 18 from Dirty Soul Soap Company is your Tres Leches Cake. This fragrance right here just swept me off my feet. It smells exactly like the dessert. The Tres Leches Cake tastes. I mean, everything about it. The creaminess, the cake. The light airy sponge cake is there um, you know if you want to walk around smelling like the most edible edible sweet lactonic cake then look no further oh I just cannot wait I just cannot uh, to get a hold of that one in, in in you know a full size because it was perfect okay um, a good friend Alma here on the channel did mention that Dua has a lovely Tres Leches and it's highly sought after as well. Um, and honestly, this is the first, my first brush with a Tres Leches fragrance. Um, I kind of always thought, mm, I don't know, that might smell a little sour. Not sure uh, how how that would smell, you know, or end up on my skin. But it ended up being perfection here from Dirty Soul Soap Company. Oh yes, <laughs> and even if you have the Eau de Parfum there from Dua, you could get the Perfume Miss eight dollars for the two point five ounce to top yourself off, you know, and mix and and match your fragrances. 
I always do that. I personally mix and match my my fragrance brands, indie different indie perfume brands. I mix uh, indie with niche, with designer, with you know your Bath and Body Works, and it doesn't matter as long as it smells good, <laughs> as long as it makes me feel happy and I can enjoy it. It's gonna we're gonna it's good for go, <laughs> okay? It is good for go. Oh man, that was a lot, but and but that's how many there were that's just how many out of 24 only six of them were not either not my scent profile or I just didn't need to upsize but there are 18 of them that deserve a spot here in the dirty soul soap company collection so far we haven't even grazed the surface you guys their their catalog is huge okay um, so yeah, for my next round, um, I'll probably just upsize a couple of my faves here. Um, if that was still too much for you guys, I mean, 18 samples at $2.50, if you want to just sample to start out, will run you, I think with after shipping and all that, a good $40. If it is your first time placing an order, you can use the code DS15. It's at the top of the of their website, and you can get yourself 15% off. Um, you know, I personally, the next time I do place an order with Dirty Soul, will probably just upgrade a couple of my favorites and then get some more samples you know um, because there's just so much to try and um, if you guys want me to narrow it down for you even further I totally can like okay which two are you gonna get or which three or whatever is in my budget at the time you know let, let me know I can help you out or if you're trying to decide between one or the other for whatever reason I can I can also give you my input if you'd like it <laughs> that's always fun all right that was it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It is so long. <laughs> That's why I wore this shirt. It's so long, Dirty Soul Soap Company for now. Uh, but it's definitely not, not a good, it's a goodbye for now, okay? We will circle back. We will be talking about Dirty Soul here uh, on Set and Talk from My Closet for years to come, I feel. This is just, it's going to be a state, it's a staple already. A lot of indie perfume brands have come into this closet and just solidify themselves as staples. All right, y'all have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.